Good morning, Greeners! I'm Kaylee. I'm okay. Today, I'm Kaylee. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. I honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please join me for a moment of silence. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 50 and a low of 32. There is no weather like eagle weather. For all of you people that have been telling me that my team is no good, we're never going to be good, we're never going to win, I hope that y'all all watched that game, yes, on Sunday. I said yesterday on accident. On Sunday, because that is a prime example of if you believe in yourself and if you try your hardest, good things will happen. And Are you good okay? Things, I'm, I'm very emotional. <laughs> but you at the same it. time, guys, I really appreciate all of you that rooted against me. There are some in this room. There are, there are several around the school. Um, I would name some of you, but you know who you are. Yes. And it's, bullies, and it's Counselor's Week. We need more buddies, not we more need bullies. bullies. Not bullies. Eagles are champions. Everybody say it with me. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles. Okay. He lost his voice with screaming too much. Okay. That's actually right. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 50 and a low of 32. Okay, attention SMS. Unfortunately, we are still in the middle of flu season. Woo. Please make sure you are washing your hands. Please do that, please. You're helping everyone if you wash your hands. Um, and using hand sanitizer. If you aren't feeling well or running a fever, please stay home. We don't need your germs. We don't need your, your cooties. No, ma'am. In order to beat the flu, we have to make sure we're taking care of ourselves and practicing good hygiene. Yes, honey, some of you people. Shh. Okay, everybody see Team USA will be competing in the Winter Olympics from February 9th through the 25th in South Korea. Korea. 102 medals will be awarded in 15 disciplines. Yes. <laughs> How many will the U.S. bring home? Come to the library by many with the U.S. Okay. So sorry. Okay, come to the library by 3.30 p.m. this Friday and submit your predi prediction for a chance to win a prize. A gold, silver, and bronze medalist will be awarded after the games and February 25th. You can also stop by the library to see the U.S. medal count for each day. Maybe odds be ever in your favor. Sorry for pronouncing some things wrong because I know a lot of teachers. Okay, Raiders, if you would like to wear your craziest socks or hat, to the staff versus student basketball game on February 16th only costs one dollar one dollar and you want to turn it into your SCA donation before school in the cafeteria today's special sh special showcase in honor of black history Month. okay ready Miss Wilson Ida B Wells yes I got it right okay she was a journalist newspaper editor suffragist Sociologist. And it was a leader of the and she was a leader of the civil rights movement, active in women's suffrage and rights. In eighteen eighty seven she she sued the uh, Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad Company for five hundred dollars and won but had her case overturned by the Supreme Court of Tennessee. She bought a, a portion a, a portion of Memphis newspaper, the free speech and headline, and used it as her platform and champion African American civil rights. Okay. She was co founded the National Association from the Advancement of Colored People, NAASP, in 1909. She documented um, lynching in the United States in the 1800s, and she wrote that it was often used in South as a way to control or punish black people who were compared to white people. Yeah, were compared with whites. Okay. 
Make sure you come out and check our book display in the library if you're wanting to learn more about Ida B. Wells or other icon people and events. If you signed up for the talent show auditions, you need to go to the office, sign your names, because we all know we each And other. grab an information sheet, because I know a lot of y'all do not know something on there for the singers that are trying out. You need to grab an information sheet so you know, okay? Okay, this week is Counselor's Week. We have just a few more days to show Miss James how much we appreciate her. Check with your grade level teachers to see when your grade level is assigned to shower Miss James with tokens of appreciation. Don't forget that the Scholastic Book Fair will be at SMS next week. Start saving up now, guys. And make sure you stay tuned after the announcements for a trailer of a book called Project 1065. Box tops. Okay. One, two, three. Box tops. Box tops. Don't, don't, don't ever, ever stop. stop. Hey. Okay, bring your box tops, guys. <laughs> so bad. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell's joke of the day. When is the best time to go to the dentist? Too hurry? <laughs> Actually, the dentist sucks. Never is a good time to go to the dentist, guys. Make it an awesome Wednesday, Raiders! My name is Michael O'Shaughnessy. I was born in Ireland, but my family and I have been living in Germany since before the war. You might think I feel like an outsider, but I've found a way to fit in. You see, I'm a full-fledged member of the Hitler Youth. I do all the right things. Burn books, and play their cruel little games, and praise the Fuhrer. And flawless German, of course. But that is just a part I play. I am not one of them. I am a spy. And if I want to stay alive and help bring the Nazis down, no one can know my secret. Project 1065 at your Scholastic Book Fair.